This is Israel, the holiest land on the earth. Israel is a very small country but draws a special attention from the whole world. It has amazing history and its traces can be seen around the whole country. We planned a 12 day trip in which we wanted to cover the most important places around the whole country. For more information about this itinerary, take a look at our blog post How to make your first travel to Israel. You can see the link in the description below. Subscribe to our channel Journey Beyond the Horizon. This is Ben Gurion Airport in Tel Aviv, our starting point. We pass through the check-in. We have heard that the check-in in Israel is very strict, but we pass easy and without any problems. There is a railway station just beside the airport and traveling by train from here to the center of Tel Aviv is very convenient. We get off the train and see this station decorated with a small library and a piano. As we know, Israel pays special attention for art and education. Beside the road we see many water pipes under the plants. The amazing irrigating technology that has turned Israel from a desert to a garden. And our first place to stay is in Holon a modern district in the southern part of Tel Aviv. Here we have found a very nice Airbnb home. Airbnb was the best choice in Israel not only because it is cheaper, but also you can cook in the kitchen and most importantly, you can enjoy the opportunity to get closer to the local people. We take a bus from Holon to the ancient town of Jaffa. The first thing that we see here is this whale fountain. Why the fountain has such a shape? because Jaffa is the starting point of the journey of Prophet Jonah. Let's walk around the old streets of Jaffa and hear the story of Jonah. God sent him to Nineveh to warn the people there to repent. But Jonah didn't want to go there, instead he tried to escape by ship from Jaffa. However, due to a sea storm, Jonah was thrown into the sea and swallowed by a big fish or whale. He remained in the whale's stomach for three days and then was thrown out to the sea coast. Eventually, he still had to go to Nineveh and do what God ordered him to do. And there are more stories from the Bible that happened here. This is the house of Simon the Tanner. Apostle Peter lived in his house and here God showed him a vision that the gospel had to be preached to the Gentiles. Then a Roman military commander called Cornelius came to visit Peter here and he became one of the first Gentiles that believed in Jesus. From here we ascend to the top of the hill where Jaffa is built. Here we enjoy spectacular views of the modern Tel Aviv and the seaside along the city.
Our next stop is the colorful flea market. Here we just walk around and enjoy the local atmosphere. And this is the old clock tower at the northern end of Jaffa. This is a nice place to relax, to shop some souvenirs and drink some coffee. Finally, at evening we go to the beach and enjoy the beautiful sunset in the Mediterranean Sea. On the second day we rent a car to leave Tel Aviv and to go to the north. We choose Cal Auto. Their service is cheap and good. First we pass Neve Tzedek, the oldest neighborhood in the modern Tel Aviv. It is established at the end of the 19th century, so the architectural style of the buildings is from that era. Then we drive on the central Rothschild Boulevard, one of the most popular places for walking and shopping in Tel Aviv. We also reach Rabin Square. Here the former Premier of Israel, Yitzhak Rabin, was assassinated. The most prominent spot here is the Memorial of Holocaust and Revival. I finally go out of the city to our next destination, the ancient city of Caesarea. Stay with us in this journey around Israel and subscribe to our channel Journey Beyond the Horizon for more video journeys.